you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we are told to draw to full scale the following end elevation complete plan development of the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen the first thing you have to do is to reproduce the figure you take your T square and you draw your horizontal line in this manner. Right? You take your C square, you draw your vertical line in this manner. Right? And they are meeting at this point. Now you take your compass and you measure from 0 to 10 or 0 to 5, whatever choice you pick, and you place it at the center point here. You mark to the left 5, 5, 5, 5. You can see that. And on those points, you project your line upward. On this point, you project your line also upward. On this point, you project your line in this manner. On this point, you project your line in this manner. Right? Now I want to draw, start with the plan of this pyramid. Right? If you look closely, it is a pyramid. The plan is telling us that what is a square, right? And the measurement here, the dimension is given to be 40. And then the figure in front of that 40 is a square, meaning in a square, all the sides are what? Are equal. Now, I'll take my meter rule and I'll measure from this point where the line meets, right? I'm going to measure 40. From 0 to 4 is 40 and the height also if I take my compasses of measuring in two sides I'll place it on this point I measure from here to here to be what 40 and I'll take it down also 40 you can see that then I'll move this this manner and also this in this manner so I can easily thicken this and also thicken this and also thicken this and also I'll thicken this right now this is the plan that you can see on the screen and I'm going to extend this upward in this manner to touch here a little bit and here also you can see that I want to get the center of the square. What I will do is I'm going to join the two ends, the two adjacent end, opposite end, this way, and I'll join here to here this way. This is how you can get the center of any plane figure. And where they meet here is the center. So that center I'm going to project it upward. This way. You can see that. So the height given from here is given to be 60. So what one draw now the elevation? The height of the elevation is given to be what? 60. So from this point here, right, I'll measure 60 upward. 0 to 6. That is 60. And I'll join from here to here. And I'm going to join also from here to here. Right? Now if you notice, from where it is truncated, that is from here to here is 15, which is from here to somewhere around here, right? Vertically, I'll measure 15. From 0 to here is 15. And I'm going to extend it to this point. So where they meet, that is where I will truncate it. And I'm going to be using an angle of what? 45. Whenever your C square is standing this way, this particular C square, the two inclined side is 45 degrees. Now move it to that point here. 
and I'm going to what truncate it this way. You can see that. Then I will join from here to here. You can now go for this point here to here. From here to here. Then I'll close up here. Here to here. You can see that. Now I have successfully reproduced the given figure that is displayed on the left hand side of the screen. Now the next thing I'll do is to draw the complete plan. How will I do that? I'm going to project this end here, here and here. Let me call it to be point P and point Q. So I'll project it down. If I bring from this point down here, from this point, I'll bring it down to this point. From this point, I'll bring it down to this point. So where they intersect the diagonal, right? I'm going to join this point together. I'm going to join this point together. I'm going to join these points together. Right? So I'm going to take my 45 degrees S square and I'll draw my section line this way. Make sure that that point is open. You see that? So I'll close here up. I'll also close here up. Year two. I'll close here up. I'll also close here up. You can see that? Now this is the complete plan. And I'm going to draw the end view here now. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to now you're going to from this point where the middle line meets the x and the y this middle point here you take your 45 degrees s square and you project this out right and you bring here to touch this point you also bring here to touch this point here so where it meets this inclined line you project it upward and you close it up too You can see that now this base here from here to here where the two end these two line meets where you meet here and here meet here to this point you're going to be the base of the pyramid right and the center line this is where both of them are meeting the center point right they're meeting at this point here i'll project it to touch here so from this point where the touch is inclined line, I'll take it up. You can see that. Then all those from here touch the base. And from here touch the base. You can see that. After I've done that, then I'll project here in this manner. You can see that this line I project here is this line meeting this point and this point. You can see that this point and this point. So I'll project this point to touch here, and I also project this point to touch here. So where it touches this that inclined line, I'll project it up. So it's touching this point, and here also is touching this point. You can see, so those two points, I will join them together. I'll thicken it. You see that? Similarly, I'll come to the top here. I'll put that here. Then this line is meeting. Uh, this line I projected here is meeting here and here, and I'm going to project this point too for me to touch here, and 
from here to touch here to where they meet i am going to project it up so taking here up to touch here and taking here up to touch here to this point i'm going to join them to this point here on this i'll join you here to this point here and i'll close it up in this manner All right so I'll complete it up u to u then u to u then u to u right so i will now section it so this point you're seeing i will section it that is the cut part of the pyramid I see that now the next thing is this is the end elevation right now the next thing is to draw the development now if you look at this figure very well this is not the true length of this figure and this is not the, the true length of this figure right so to get the true length i'm going to take my compass place at the center of this plan right first of all i'm going to extend the plan outward center outward this way you can see that and i'll place it at the center here to this end here and i'll draw an arc so that arc i'm going to project it upward this way to touch this baseline of the extended pyramid from the elevation let me call it point what e so from that point E, I will join a line that will connect to its faint line to get the true length of this pyramid here, right? Now, what I will do is, I'll take my compass from the apex point of the pyramid to that point E, and I'm going to draw an arc this way. Faint line. You can see that. After I've done that, I will now label this to be a number it one, two, three, and what four. Take my compass from here. The initial point here will be what point one. Then I'll come here from here to here. One to two is equals to two to three is equals to three to four and is equals to what four to one. So I'll start from one. The next point is what is two just like the plan suggests the next point is what is three right the next point is what is four right and the next point is what is one right this is one here meaning we start from one and we end at what at one and i'll take my meter rule since it's a square I'll use straight line to join this point this way. Then it is a square. Take this line to join them this way. This way. I see that. So after I've done that, I'll now take my meter rule and connect it to the center here for those points. You can see that now the next thing again is all these points here i will extend it to touch that true length and this one too i will extend it point q also to touch the true length of the pyramid then i'll place it from this center point here to where i extend it to and i'm going to draw an arc i'll come to the next point two to this point two I'll draw another arc. So that's where they are meeting. So we'll start. One is the line of one here. Meet one at this point. Right? This point one. Two also on the same line. Two meet two at this point here. Yeah? So I'll join one here. Then 
back to what two here. I see that now the next one is three follow the three line this is the line of three coming here so this is the line of three meeting three at this point you can see that so i'll connect two to three this line of three then also four on the same line two this is the line of four at this point this is the line of four i'll connect it right then back to one this is line of one also we're moving back to line of one this is one here and now connect this all right and i'll close it up this is what we have here right now we're not done the next thing is you know when you open a pyramid you need to show where the base is right we need the base so let's say the base is at either in two and three or four and one either i place the base here and here or i place the base here and here depending on where i want to place it so i'll place it at two and three how will i do that i'm going to take extend this two line here this way i'll extend it this way you can see that and i'll take my compass put it at point three and i'll mark as a draw a semicircle this way so where the semicircle with the same intersect this line i'll call it three prime and i'll call it to be three prime prime right so with the same radius from three prime where it intersects the horizontal line here i'll mark here and I'll also place it at three prime prime i'll mark here so let's call that point to be what point a and what and b so from the same radius with point a and b i'll place it here i'll draw an arc and at A also, I'll place it here to draw another arc. So where they meet, let me say that is my point C. I'll draw an arc that will touch 3. That will do what? That will touch 3 from this point. You can see that? So the same thing we apply here also. I'll do the same thing here too. Repeat the same process. From 2, I'll draw a semicircle. Right, when this will not be also two prime, here will be two prime prime. So with the same radius from two prime, I will cut an arc here. From two prime prime, I will also cut another arc here. Let me call it to be what E and F. So from E and F, I'll place it here. I'll strike an arc. From E also, I'll strike it here another arc. Let me see where they meet. Is point G. So I'll now join G and 2 together, then draw a vertical line this way. You can see that. So what I have here is the same radius from this point to this point, 2 to 3. I'll mark here. Come to 3 or so, I'll mark here. Now I'll now take my metal rule. I'll join from here to here. Right? I'll join from here to here. And I'll join from here to here, from 3 to 1. Right. Then here to. So this is what we have here. So we have successfully completed this diagram. This is the end elevation. As suggested in the question, this is the complete plan, this is development, and this is what the elevation of the figure. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and also comment if you have any question you want to ask. Thanks for watching.